The United States Coast Guard is a branch of the military. And for those in the back, I'll say it again. The Coast Guard is a branch of the military. Just like soldiers, sailors, Marines, airmen, and uh, guardians. Why are, why are the Coast Guard not called guardians? That just makes so much more sense. I'm just now thinking about that. Wow. The people who serve in the Coast Guard are service members. They wear uniforms, eat in mess halls, and do fun stuff like wake up before the crack of dawn and occasionally run in formation. They even attend basic training. Yep, that's right. Coast Guard boot camp is a real thing. As the maritime, security, search and rescue, and law enforcement branch of the U.S. Armed Forces, the Coast Guard is the only service that falls under the Department of Homeland Security. Its mission ranges from intercepting foreign nationals attempting to illegally enter the U.S. by water, to rescuing people stranded at sea, to fighting illegal fishing. The second smallest military branch, only larger than the still growing 16,000 member Space Force, which barely counts as a branch, the Coast Guard offers 28 different enlisted and officer ratings, or jobs, to its approximately 47,000 personnel. Regardless of their rating, every Coast Guardsman works to support the branch's five main missions. Maritime security, maritime mobility, maritime safety, protection of natural resources, and national defense. Not everyone who joins the Coast Guard enters the ranks in the same way. Future officers are trained and educated at the United States Coast Guard Academy in New London, Connecticut. Recruits with prior military service or qualifying civilian work experience attend a truncated version of basic training called the 20-Day Direct Entry Petty Officer Course. As for everyone else, i.e. run-of-the-mill enlistees, the journey begins with eight unforgettable weeks in Cape May, New Jersey, the sole location for Coast Guard boot camp. There, in the Coast Guard's hometown, over 4,000 aspiring Coasties begin the next chapter of their lives each year. I'd like to note here, if you are having trouble finding your local Coast Guard recruiter, try harder. They're easy to find. And if you're worried about maybe having recently gotten too soft, the Coast Guard offers remedial physical training for prospective recruits who are initially unable to meet the standards. Upon arrival, recruits are greeted by their company commanders, similar to drill sergeants in the other branches. The company commanders at Cape May are responsible for transforming fresh volunteers into bona fide coasties, not guardians. The first moments after a new recruit has received their gear, gotten their haircut, and been ordered to hold their bags above their head by a pack of rabid drill sergeants have been depicted in countless films and television shows. Is that clear? Yes, drill sergeant! For coasties, however, the day zero initiation doesn't set the tone for the next eight weeks, as it often does in, say, the Army or Marine Corps. Because new recruits are sent straight to the fleet after graduating boot camp, the company commander's primary objective is to ensure trainees leave Cape May prepared to do their jobs. Which is not to suggest that Coast Guard boot camp is a cakewalk. Getting yelled at and doing painful amounts of exercise are certainly part of the experience. But recruits might find themselves disappointed if they show up hoping for the full metal jacket treatment. You little scumbag! You will not laugh! You will not cry! You will learn by the numbers! I will teach you! Now get up! Get on your feet! Company commanders follow a five-phase training method, based on Tuckman's stages of group development. During the first phase, recruits are conditioned to be obedient and responsive to orders. They are also taught how to walk, talk, and carry themselves like coasties. Teamwork and discipline are the focus of phase two. Additionally, recruits are familiarized with Coast Guard rules and regulations and basic military skills and knowledge. During the third phase, recruits continue to develop their basic military skills and knowledge with an emphasis on individual accountability and team building. The Coast Guard does not require its recruits to pass a weapons qualification course to graduate. However, they are trained to use rifles, shotguns, pistols, and certain mounted machine guns. They are also made to fight each other with pupil sticks and experienced men to prepare them for hand-to-hand -hand combat and boost their confidence as they enter the fleet. The final two phases are condensed into week seven. This is the time when recruits are expected to perform all the skills and core competencies they have been trained on so far. The assessment includes a final test as well as a challenging obstacle course. The last week of training 
which Smith called the adjourning phase, culminates in a graduation ceremony for the recruits who managed to pass and will spend their Friday morning marching for their friends and family to see and celebrate with them. Unlike the military branches that fall under the Department of Defense, the Coast Guard sends boot camp graduates straight to the operational fleet as non-rates, the service's E1 and E2 rankings. Only about 10% of graduates know what rating or job they'll hold after boot camp, and the other 90% are assigned to be either seamen or firemen. The Coast Guard's area of responsibility covers nine districts throughout the U.S. and its territories, and there are several different duty stations within each district. Coasties graduating boot camp can request specific assignments, but ultimately, it's not up to them to decide where they end up. Some might get orders to, say, Louisiana or Ohio, others to far-flung places like Guam or the Alaskan hinterlands. In other words, a career in the Coast Guard can entail a wide array of experiences. There are the quiet assignments that mom would approve of, and there are the places where the action never stops. The places where doing stuff like rescuing people from hurricane-ravaged islands or swimming in shark-infested waters is just another day on the job. Semper Paratus, Coasties, not Guardians.